Mandolin for a Guitar Player is part two, the pentatonics. So the great thing about playing pentatonics on mandolin is there's basically only three shapes that you can do depending upon where in the scale you're at. Let's do it on A. So if we look at our first shape, it's up three frets and then up two. And actually you can play an entire pentatonic on two strings just using this shape. If you start on your root, and you move to the next string, it's the exact same. Now here's a third shape. We can have all three whole steps in a row, two whole steps in a row. So you can see here on the A string itself, I can extend my scale. And then we can even go up to the A up here and we have an inverse of that other shape. We have two frets and then three. So those are your three shapes. You have three frets, then two. You have two frets, then two. And you have two frets, then three. Now, we can take this scale then and realize we're connecting either an octave on two strings Or we can do our kind of octave across three strings. We can visualize it as connecting those. While we're at it, we can go to this higher octave and we can start experimenting with those other shapes. This up here, the two and then three frets, we can do on the lower octave too. And now we actually can repeat that And on the high one, oh my goodness, look, it's our original shape of three frets, then two. Whoops. Now, of course, A, we have open strings we can use too, so that's really fun. And you're not always that lucky. Let's do something like F. Let's go to F. So I can actually remember, oh yes, we have, we have that octave. We can also remember, hey, there's that octave too. Same shape. Look at that shape, the two and then three comes in handy up below it. 